You feel like St. Louis can be the next Atlanta? I really feel like it can. And the reason being because the statistics show that women in St. Louis is leading businesses, okay? It's the women that's leading. So when you look at Atlanta, you talking about love and hip-hop. What are them girls doing on our They opening up businesses. They didn't even have them when they first started it. Uh, you look at Real Housewives of Atlanta, what they doing? Same thing, opening business, expanding their businesses. So it's like... Her we is in St. Louis, and that's just the women um, part. Now, the men, y'all definitely got it on lock when it comes to the rapping, to being fresh, to um, everything. You know what I'm saying? Doing what y'all do at the strip club, shooting the videos. Like, we got it on both ends for the women and the men. So, I feel like it can be St. Louis. We just got to be ready. Take notes. Like, I took notes off Love & Hip Hop. And when the time comes, like, let's just do it. Like, it's money in it. Why not just get this bag? Most definitely. And then uh, y'all be throwing comedy shows up here, too. Um, we we did one comedy show for my birthday. I actually got on the stage that time, did my little jokes. But um, this year, you know, we using the Mandarin House. So we just okay. want to stop doing so many events here because since we all expanded, we're going to utilize the space. So we're going to be doing uh, the comedy shows at the Mandarin House for now on. So we're definitely looking for all the local comedians, even if you're from Kansas City or Chicago, tap in with us too. We're going to be constantly doing them, and we're going to make sure that you guys are getting some exposure for real because the comedy scene is, is nice. Sure. Who's going to be uh, hosting that thing that night? Uh, Marvin Davis. Man. He's so funny. Like, dude know how to do comedy no, no matter where he go. It could be a church. You know, he was in my green room doing comedy. Like, he's so funny. He know how to adapt. So, shout out to Marvin Davis, Chris Bow, Prince Jig, and my boy, Clint Diverse. He one of the funniest people in the world. Okay? Right. Straight up. So, what would it take for St. Louis to just come together like a Atlanta? You know what I mean? Or, you know, something like that. Um, I feel like... Just like it, I mean, Atlanta just got so many different aspects of just black excellence. You know what I mean? So for St. Louis to come together, it's going to be everything. The business owners, if you're trying to open up a business, you got to follow somebody blueprint that did it. Quit trying to do your own thing all the time. If it's a blueprint, follow it. You know what I mean? And do it. Same thing with the videography work. You know, I did a couple of behind the scenes footage with Love and Hip Hop before. And just doing it, it made me open my eyes. Oh, this is how they do the scenes. This is what you need to do. It so it's just about taking notes and actually following the blueprint. Like it was an honor to be in a room with Mona Scott, you know. And just a couple of days ago, I looked up how much is Mona Scott worth, and it said like thirty million dollars. Right. And it's just like that could be me one day sure. if I keep filming, if I keep these people. You know what I'm saying? understanding like this is what we got to do to keep the audience engaged with these tv shows and stuff like this could literally be me one day and uh you know shout out to lacy i don't know if you heard of lacy g soldier he was just nominated at the hollywood music awards like that's one of my people i follow in st louis he taught me about doing movies and having original music in your movies when i first started this and watching his growth it's like amazing because i feel like if he can do it i could do it so yeah shout out the lazy you you be putting on for st louis like if it comes to the movie scene he that guy to me straight up straight up uh how you feel about the movie scene right now in st louis you know like all the young directors movie actors and stuff like that oh man i love it like i love it i just want everybody to do the right thing so that you actually get your money. Like, don't be making movies for the fun of it. Make it so that you is actually able to collect a check. You know what I'm saying? For you, for your kids, residual income, however it is, like, do it for you. Just like with her come Big Shirley, I made sure all the music was original. I didn't want nothing to come back. When I finally got my slip that said, you know, uh, you this is officially copywritten, that's major because some people don't even go that far. Like, you got to sure. do that. 
Like, just do everything right so that you could get your money off of it. Like, doing it for fun is overrated. Right, right. What's the point of doing it if you ain't getting paid? It, I mean, <laughs> you got to have fun while getting paid, but don't have too much fun and don't get paid. For sure, for sure. Um, we really want to take advantage of putting more support behind our artists now. We know which artist is really dedicated. We know we know who we wouldn't mind putting our money behind. So this time we want to be really on top of the game as far as like booking them to open open up for I'm um, of course I'm gonna keep saying Gucci Man, that's my favorite yeah. favorite rapper. But uh like whenever artists come and they have the opportunity to open up, we wanna make sure that we get our artists in those positions and not just in those positions, fully ready to perform, camera people on deck for them. I mean, just everything to make them feel as Hollywood as possible. That's what we are. Most definitely for real, for real. Any last words for the viewers out there? Um Last words is just St. Louis. You know, I love y'all. Stay focused. Like, I, everybody know I done lived in California, Atlanta, Chicago, Alabama. I done been around the world and I done seen like how this stuff works. So it's just like, just stay focused, y'all. If I can stay focused and realize like this can really happen in my city, we don't just got to move out of town and do stuff. Going. So, like, you say you live in all three of these cities. So, like, what's the differences between all of them three cities? You know what I'm saying? From just You just live in there. Like, I mean, the difference is you ain't from there. Right. That's, the, that's the main difference. So, when you trying to get your foot through the door, I mean, it's going to still be hard because it's not what you know. It's who you know. So, when you go to another city and you don't know nobody, you could... You could be the best actress, but you got to start from the bottom. Right. You got to go to this and this and that. So it's just like, I've been through all of that. Like, I done been through people trying to flu gaze you on modeling shows and everything. But it's because you don't even know these people. Right. But if you was from there, you would know, oh, dude, bootleg, this, this and that. So, like, that opened my eyes. Like, just being in California, you know. That was a fast life. Being out there with no family, trying to be a model, actress, singer, end up getting robbed, end up being a stripper. I could have ended up dead. Like, look at all them negatives. I'm not from there. Right. You know, so when I come back home and I could realize, okay, we got a performing arts school here. We got a performing arts school there. We got people that actually graduate from the Nelly School. You know, we got our other people that's realizing I've been chasing the wrong dream for too long. Yeah. This is what I love. Like, then you realize you could actually do it here. But you got to have places like Ground Sharp Studios because then nobody's going to take you serious. If I'm meeting up with my cast at the library to rehearse, they're not going to take me serious. If I'm meeting up with them in my apartment complex, open room, they're not going to take me serious. But if I say I'm paying y'all to come to rehearsal, y'all will come for the pay, but still not take me serious. And I had to learn that doing my movie. Once I got Ground Shop Studios, hey, it took me way more serious. So, now you say you had a situation where you did a video shoot with Rello from Three Problems. Yeah, Rello, what's up? Where you gonna drop that thing? Uh, but now I'm just waiting on Rello to drop my video. Uh, I was on vacation in Atlanta, and one thing that I tell all my people that that's here at Ground Shark, stay ready for whatever because we ain't been doing this for nothing. So when I went on vacation, of course I had my camera, my lights, my extra right. batteries, everything. And when I heard Rello needed a video shot, you know I had a couple of people hit me up, and I'm like, yeah, let them know I'll pop out and do that. Uh, you know, it was another camera guy in there. Maybe he was from ATL, so he got the video done faster than me. So I had to come back home to the computer and let JJ put his editing skills on it. So that video got dropped. Mine did. So Rillo, y'all go ahead and drop that for me. Uh, I've been hearing amazing feedback. I let the people see it. And they like, man, this video amazing. So, and one mm -hmm. thing about it is people don't really know I shoot videos. Right. And the thing is... I shoot them for sure, but I don't shoot anybody video. Like, if you're going to have a gun in your video, I'm not shooting it. Right. You're not about to point a gun at me. Um, I don't seen people drop guns, clips, all type of stuff doing videos. Like, I'm right. not that person. So, it's like, strip club, yeah, I do that. You know, but a lot of people don't know I shoot videos. So, 
Stay tuned to the videos. You need one, book it. I'm going to let you know now. I'm going to film it, and my cousin going to edit, and it's going to be hard. For sure, for sure. We got a lot of artists from St. Louis that's been uh, getting signed. You know, we got Big Boss Bet. We got Nando. You know what I'm saying? You think the... Uh, you think it's going to continue to happen as, you know what I'm saying, if you're going to the new year? Yeah, it's going to definitely continue to keep happening. Um, I mean, one thing about the St. Louis scene, I feel like everybody is in tune with trying to put everybody on. Like, sure. everybody support each other so hard, it's going to be hard to just leave somebody back in St. Louis when you finally make it. Right. Like, at this point, it is. Like, I don't know how it was when Nelly Nim came out. Cause people are always saying like, oh, Nelly ain't putting nobody on, but y'all not really from that era. Y'all don't really know what the music game was like back then, but right. now, like, we have to work together, you know what I'm saying, with the right. music scene. Like, shout out to Asia Marie. She performed with us in the uh, Pride Parade. Like, she put the stamp on Ground Sharp Studios that day for us. So, just sure. being an artist, her working down there with Ram, she performed. When I say she did her thing, we shot her video. Doing the um parade, like this is what ground show about. Absolutely. Sure, man. Shout out to Asia Marie. You just did one for sure. Yeah, shout out to Asia yeah. Marie. So I mean, and all the artists that come through Ground Show Studios, yeah. uh, but it's just certain ones that do go over a board to make sure we is actually showing the world what Ground Show Studios is about, and she did that. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, much uh, much success to you. Keep doing your thing, sister. You know, you're doing a lot for yourself and for, and for the community, for, for, uh, providing a positive environment for artists to just come through and shine and just, just get better at their skill and perfect their craft, you know. And for you sure. got JJ working with you as well, engineering, mm -hmm. all of the music, you know what I'm saying, making the magic, you know what I'm saying, on them boys and the keys and the computer, you feel me? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Like, my cousin... Uh, I just try to tell everybody he an expert. Like I have seen JJ work with a a person with autism that really couldn't read, couldn't read what he wrote. But I don't watch JJ teach somebody some lyrics, make them memorize it, get it together, piece it together, and make it to words of his song. Like that's amazing. Not too many engineers can record an autistic person, right. and I'm pretty sure about that. Most definitely. That's, that's, hey, that's amazing right there. That's that's God given. I'm trying to tell you, and I watched it happen. I watched it happen. You talking about an artist who can't read their lyrics. That's just a person with a good heart. Good heart and good ear. You know, so, he hey, my cousin doing his thing and I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, just him being hurt because without the without him doing the music, like I couldn't had a music game on lock at Ground Show Studio. So shout out to JJ. So, so, we keep doing your thing. We're going to wrap it up right here on What's New in the Lou. You feel me? Yep. And, and like I said earlier, KB, you more than welcome at Ground Show Studios. You know, if you see yourself fit here, we got a lot coming up. Like, this is what we built Ground Show Studios for, for the freelancers out here, for the people trying to find a home. Come holler at me and see what can we do. You know, I'm not with the negative stuff. You'll find that out quick. Uh, but if it's positive and we can move forward, we can make money, and it could definitely help our artists grow, we with it. 100%. I'm with you. We're going to wrap. For sure. All right. Well, thank you. All right. You're welcome. What's new in the loo? You know what it is. All right. So first and foremost, I want to shout out my baby brother, JoJo, who up in heaven right now. He was um. One of our biggest artists, he was turning up on his videos. He had just started doing shows, and we love him. We miss him dearly, so shout him out. Um, I want to shout out my dude, STL D-Mac, him and Trilly. Like, they a little duo. I've been fucking with D-Mac for a minute, and he been turning up lately, doing his thing on the videos, shows. He just real consistent, so I just want you to know I see we going to keep working. We're going to keep turning up. Landfall. I mean, he was coming through faithfully. Mm -hmm. I mean, he even let me know as the visit on the aid. I don't want people sitting in on my sessions and this and that. Mm -hmm. So he let me know how serious mm -hmm. it was when it comes to that as a business person. So shout out to Landfall. We got into it over there. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he ain't funny about that. Like, don't have motherfuckers walking in my session, bro. Like, don't do that. Yeah. And I met him through D Max. So yeah, mm -hmm. shout out Landfall. Shout out Lenfo, shout out Looney. Shout out Looney, nigga. Neighborhood, nigga. We grew up in Wilson together. That's my nigga. 
Been my nigga for a long time. I mean, been I recording in my back room, all the way to the room, studio. Yeah. And just anybody, uh, Wayno, this Wayno. Shout mm -hmm. out to everybody that came to the back room first and yeah. straight followed us here. Uh, Royce, where you been, Royce, man? Honey. Pull up. I didn't tell you he pulled up like a week ago. I always <laughs> miss him when he pulled up. I forgot up. to tell you, he straight pulled up. And that's our old school cameraman. Like, he could, man, he could mm -hmm. hook up anything we need. Like, shout out to Royce. Yeah. Um, yeah, shout out the whole WTG, shout out Dre Trill, Sumo, Wop, and my niggas right there, I fuck with them. And everybody that's, you know what I'm saying, that had the music scene on lock. We we had the pleasure of having Lil Half and Jizzle Bucks in her before. We had the mm -hmm. pleasure of having Benzino in her before. Mm -hmm. um, we had Lil, what was it called, Lil Mark. Which one? He was with 21 Savage. He was down over mm -hmm. brand new. I think, yeah, I think that was Lil Mark. Yeah, yeah Lil Mark in here. So, CMG um, was in CMG was down there. So, you know, when y'all holler at Rand, y'all gonna see. And he done had a chance to record some heavy hitters too. So, we oh, yeah. appreciate Shout out Rand. Shout out Sezo. Like, he be doing his thing too. Sure. Ain't forget about Rand. He be yeah. turning up. He hold down Studio B. So, Most uh, definitely. He down there doing his thing. Shout out Mookie, the DJ, the Beast. Like, shout out Big Mook. Like, yeah, fuck with them. For sure. Yeah, big family, man. Mm -hmm. It's our family love. Like, we all family. We all got blood. You hear me? We like, straight we, up. We all cousins in here, so. So, you we, know. like, we click. We already click. So, it's like now we working again. We bringing this shit together and making shit happen. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And yeah, shout out to anybody else that got a family business because you know people are always gonna say don't do don't do business with your family. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you gonna have your ups and downs and stuff like that. But when you can actually figure it out to make it work with your family, man, it's so much better. It's so much comfortable when you come in. Like your family will understand your attitude, right. and they won't don't won't be ready to beat you up. They know you mad, you know. So it's just like. When you can make it work, it's just shout out to our family just for supporting us, having our back, um, you know, donating little stuff here and there. So uh, just shout out to our family. You know, Ram, that's one of our cousins we actually just met. So it's like, mm -hmm. but we knew it's daddy. So it's just like family is family. So if you got a family business and y'all making it work, stick with it. Keep yeah. that money in the family. Most definitely. Shout out to